Hey, what's up guys? Ara here and welcome back to a brand new video here today and welcome back to another F1 game experiment. It's been a long while since we've done an experiment on the F1 game and so today we have a top walker one in store. The 2019 Spanish Grand Prix is upon us this weekend and Spain, the circuit of Catalonia, we've always talked about it being, uh, you know, it's not an absolute classic Grand Prix in the last couple of years. You know, dirty air gets thrown around, that debate gets thrown around a lot when we talk about the circuit of Catalonia. Overtaking is an issue around here. Here. Tire wear has even been an issue in previous years as well, but really mainly that dirty air and the whole just sense of unable to overtake really. And unfortunately, I don't foresee the race tomorrow being an absolute banger. This one being uploaded before the Grand Prix on Sunday, I don't see it being an absolute banger. So I thought, you know what? How 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 could we make the Spanish Grand Prix a lot better? There's been talks about removing the Spanish Grand Prix off the calendar. How do we make it better? What if we go into the F1 game and uh, mess around with the dirty and slipstream? We've done this before, but it didn't really work out last time at Brazil. But I thought I'd re-return re to this experiment, basically, in a sense, and kind of go a little bit more extreme with it. So this is the slipstreaming air density values for the Ferrari car, but we're going to do this for every single car. So I've set the lift value to 1. So usually this is 0 0.87. So i.e. basically when the car is behind another car in slipstream, it also counts for for when it's in a corner, in behind, in slipstream, in a corner. There's less air density compared to what there would normally be for the scale of lift. Now, lift obviously, you know, it doesn't sound like it's downforce, but in, in this game, in the coding, whenever there's the mention of lift, it basically means downforce because all the values of lift are all negative, i.e. downforce. Uh, so the scale lift is usually 0 0.87. So I've set it to 1. So there is no dirty air anymore. And also the drag factor is usually about 0. Point, I think it's 0.85. So usually they're quite close values, 0 0.87, 0 0.85. I've set this to 0 0.55. So the slipstream effect should also be a little bit more ridiculous. So this is effectively an experiment of asking, you know, what would happen in the future if, if Formula One and Ross Braun got their, you know, got the cards right, got the concepts right, got the regulations right, and we had these F1 cars with basically no dirty air effects and these incredible amounts of slipstreaming thanks to like the rear wing design, the ground effect design, the front wing flow, and all this jazz, what would happen to the 2019 Spanish Grand Prix if all of that was in effect? Well, today we're going to answer just that. This is either going to go spectacularly well, it's just going to go comically bad, or it's just going to be an absolute disaster and doesn't throw up much, much else. And in that case, then I might just have to conclude we have to scrap the Spanish Grand Prix. I'm sorry, lads. I'm, I'm sorry. I think we'll drive his Carlos Sainz, seeing he's the, he's the home man. I think we'll drive his him, and uh, obviously we'll take it to the Spanish Grand Prix. This is, uh, I, I'm curious, I genuinely want this to work. I have a picture in my mind of what I think will happen, and if it does, I think this could be quite an amazing spectacle. Keep your eyes open on the run to turn one and keep it clean. We want to come out in one piece. Good luck. I will try my best, engineer. I will try my best, but I don't really know what on earth is going to happen here. But uh, here we are, five lap race. Not going to bother doing any setup changes. Let's just get into this then and see how the slipstream is, how the dirty air is. We'll have to wait for the first turn, obviously, the dirty air. But let's see how the slipstream is. We go to five red lights. One the way. That's been a slow start for me. But let's see how the slipstream is. Looks like it's pretty powerful for the cars up ahead. I've obviously not even caught a car yet, but here we go. Now catching. Oh my, what the? When did this turn into a survive episode? Right, let's um try that one again. Pretend you didn't see anything. That, that, that first attempt, was it? There's, no, there's not meant to be attempts. There's meant to be a one take thing, and it didn't work out. Right, a bit of a better start. Right, slipstream. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. We are pulling a bit there. That's a lot more than the base F1. Oh my god, Jesus. I'm having to break to stop myself. We're pulling so well. Oh my god, the slipstream's so powerful that in the brake zone, the car didn't even slow down properly. Right, I've got a bit of front wing damage. That's unfortunate, but let's see how it goes. Might even be more of an experiment, really, to see, you know, with a damaged front wing, with the dirty air not even affecting things, I'll still probably have a decent amount of downforce. I mean, look at this. I'm getting slipstream mid-corner, I feel, on gaining on Giovinazzi. Can we dive down the inside? We'll go for it. The pack's pretty close, apart from the Mercs, I must say. The Mercs are looking like they're slipstreaming each other to get away there, but Magnus is going to have a move. Look at Geo making a move on me. Seems like, obviously, the AI, they just do their own race. They race on their own racing line, but once they get into each other's slipstream, they'll also see that effect. Uh, I mean, you can see up ahead there. I mean, oh my god, look! <laughs> 
Look at how quickly they're catching me. They're scaring me off the road how quick they're catching me. That is ridiculous. Look how many cyber side modes we've got there. Yellow flags behind for some reason, but look at that. Stroll and Magnussen side by side. I can see up the road the Ferraris and Red Bulls are side by side. It's, it's worked already. Lap one. It's worked. It's worked wonders. Look at that. The, the two of them are still fighting side by side. Gio's going to get involved. That's going to be a three wide fight soon enough. Can I get involved? Let's see. What's the holdup? Where's the rich mix? There we go. Overtake mode. Look at that up ahead, though. That's going to be three wide, surely. So, soon enough is. Wow, my God. Raikkon flies past. Kafiat flies past. Look at this. Oh, it's three wide. What a spectacle that is. Absolutely awesome. Oh, Magnuson has a twitch. I have to back out of that. It's working. It's actually what we've made the Spanish Grand Prix better. Infinite. Look at that. The Alfa Romeo has taken Stroll. Magnussen goes to the move down the inside. It's all kicking off here. These are AI on AI battles. Can you imagine this in real life? Absolutely insane stuff. Great midfield fighting here. And it's not just the midfield, obviously. We get great midfield fights in real life. But look at that. The two Red Bulls fighting. you got the Renault sticking up with the Haas cars. It's all kicking off here. And I think the Mercs are the only ones. They're the party poopers here. Just like real life. They're just... They're just not, they're not here to have fun. They're just here to dominate and they're rather boring. They're just getting away from each other. But these guys, oh, more, more please. It's a very weird thing to explain, but the slipstream is actually so powerful. It's really making it difficult to drive because the car just keeps on wanting to go, even if you're braking, because obviously there's less drag just anyway, uh, in general, when I'm in the slipstream. But then under, under braking, there's still that l lack of drag because I'm still in the slipstream. So the braking's not as effective, but it's three wide here down the inside. I've got a broken front wing. Remember, I'm in neutral as well. That's not helping. Strolls down the inside. We're still trying to make a move. This is literally going on for a whole lap now. This battle. Oh, Stroll. No. Stroll. Don't you dare. Please let me continue. Oh, it's behind us. It's all kicking off as well. Raikkonen and Gefiat. And up ahead, I think it might start a kickoff as well. If we look onto the mini map there, I'll have to look at the replay camera to see what's kicking off there. I'm just barely controlling this car now because the, the understeer is kicking in from the broken front wing, which is really unfortunate. But we'll continue. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look up. <laughs> They're gaining so quickly. Oh, uh, the Renault's about to make the overtake here. Hulkenberg with the mega slipstream. He's going to go to the inside of the two. Oh, he's made some contact with the Red Bull car. He's actually taken some front wing off uh, the Stappen there. I'm surprised the Ferrari hasn't got involved in that fight, though, to be fair. And ahead still. Oh, no. Oh, I lie. A Ferrari's overtaken. Leclerc's overtaken Hamilton. That must have been because of the slipstream, I think. I think he must have slipstreamed him and just got past him there. Okay. Looks like the Mercedes cars can be caught even with this mod. This is the solution. I've solved it. Not just the Spanish Grand Prix, the Mercedes cars. A bit too quick. This is it. This is the solution. Slow it down. Oh, I'm so sorry, Raikkonen. I had to dive bomb you because I can't slow this car down because literally the physics of it won't allow me to. It really just feels like there's... It almost feels like someone's tugging the car along every single strain. So you just can't stop it. Look at that. Raikkonen went for another cheeky move there. The slipstream effect is really kicking in very nicely. It just means like every little straight, if you're just like somewhat close, you can probably go for a pop and overtake. Like, come on, let's go get a bit of slipstream on stroll, pull out, and we can make a move. There we go. Nicely done. See, if F1 was like that, every single straight, you'd be seeing people slipstream back and forth. It's like, it's like F2 or F3, basically. It's every straight, every chance. Make a move. Up ahead. Oh, my God. Look at that gaggler. That trainer cars and strolls just waltz past me with the slipstream of the, of the racing point car versus the McLaren there. Going to shove you off, mate. All right, we're closing. Oh, look at this. This train's forming very nicely indeed. Hang on. Got a bit of, sort of a slipstream train for me. I'm just going to I'm just gonna have to go across there. I've got no... Oh, this is too bad. Oh, looks like... Oh, there's been some damage. There's been some damage to the Ferrari cars. I wonder if they broke their front wing due to the slipstreaming effect. But, oh, Raikkonen's literally got too much speed on me that he's hit the back of me. It's four wide. It's four wide. It's three wide up ahead. It's four wide here. It's all rather amazing. And I think I've solved it. I've solved Formula One. Look at it. It's breathtaking. Look at the fighting going on there. Nearly four abreast for a moment there. Three wide up ahead. It's glorious. And look at that. Oh, the Mercedes comes back. Die bombs the Red Bull. The Red Bulls have got ahead of the Mercs due to the nice slipstream. It's just better. It's just better. Right. Let's try and get in the points. Let's try and at least finish in the points. <laughs> I gained a lot there. Give me I'm still so shocked how quickly I'm, I'm not used to it. I'm really not used to it. Right. Let's just stay in the points. That'll be a successful, I think, race for us. Staying in the points with a broken front wing. In fact, might be able to get Geo here. Come on. Pull. 
Oh, we're gaining. Oh, I'm damn it. I've got a red wing. This is how bad it is. This is how powerful it is. The car just doesn't want to slow down in the brake zone because the speed's too much. Break the toe. Oh, they're slipstream each other. Side by side. Going to be three wide again for about the fifth time this video. Two guys up ahead of side by side. One of me and Gio being closed up. This is where oh, the Undersea is going to kick in for my broken wing. Really wish it wasn't this difficult to drive these cars with this mod slipstream because it would be a little bit, uh, maybe a bit more fun if I could catch up to these guys in the corners as well. Instead of having to just rely on the slipstream. Because right now this car feels like an utter boat. It feels like the McLaren of 2014 or something like that. Right. Oh, God. Stroll's going to gain on me, isn't it? Wow. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here comes Gafia. Oh, either side of me. Oh, Dunzo. <laughs> Absolute Dunzo. Then Raikkonen's caught up as well. Oh, dear Lord. Gasly's also coming back at Hamilton. He goes to move around the outside. And he's going to make it, I think. Yes, he has. There we go. Oh, he comes back at him, though. Wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing between the Red Bull Merc. But at the end of the day, the porridge boss is still P1, dominating the Grand Prix. Is that a sign of things to come? Maybe for the race tomorrow? Who knows? But the porridge boss is in his element. Right, it's the last lap of the GP. Going to try my best to get P10, but I don't think it's going to work out because every right-hander... Oh, this car is just so slow now with this front-wing damage, but still we're able to keep up. Even with the damage, I'm keeping up with cars because every straight, I can do that and just send one down the entire two cars. God damn it. All right, that was a little bit more aggressive than I wanted to, but I blame the slipstream. It's just too... It's too good. Stroll. Oh, please go, man. Go. Right, P12, I'm pushing him through. I'm literally going to... Oh, I literally started catching him up in the hill, and then I go wide. Oh, I'm in the gravel. No, DRS open, though. Can we gain any more back on them? No, Norris does, though. Look at that. Norris just goes for... Norris was nowhere near Stroll, and then he just went for the move there. In the top five, top six, Ricardo fights the Haas. Magnussen, it's uh, rather close between the other cars as well. You've got the Mercedes just trailing the Red Bull. I mean, it's a little bit more dull ahead. But for us here, we've got a fight. Norris and Stroll side by side. I'm closing up a little bit to Raikkonen, but it's not going to work out there. But I think we can say with some certainty that that experiment was very successful. I think the dirty air effect really, you could see it. Cars were able to keep close up, side by side between each other in corners. And then the slipstreaming. Oh, well, we know now. Come on. Come on, Ross Braun. Just get some big, big ground effect tunnels going on. Cut the drag on the rear wing. Somehow make slipstreaming even more OP somehow. And then uh, you're going to get some fantastic and utterly hilarious racing as well. I mean, it was just comical the way some of those cars were closing up to me in the end there. But in the end, Valtteri Bottas wins this Spanish Grand Prix as well. He's winning everything. He won the last the Question Mark Challenge video. He won this video. What, what's he not going to win this weekend? Maybe not the real-life Grand Prix. We'll have to see. But guys, if you did enjoy that experiment video, then be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Let me know what other experiments you want to see in the upcoming few weeks, guys, on the channel. Uh, that'll be uh, appreciated if you've got any kind of fresh ideas that I can maybe do that we haven't done before yet on the channel. If you're new around here, do subscribe for weekly full-on content. I've been Aaron for... Have a day. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.